Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Steven Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great production content. So I've been working on this series of my favorite uh, free VST plugins. Some of the great tools out there that are available to you at no charge, uh, whether they are just strictly free forever or if they're designed to maybe get you interested in the premium version of the plugin. Uh, all these tools that I'm reviewing are 100% free. They don't have any kind of disabling. They're not trials or demos. So they're well worth checking out. And we've looked at some pretty cool ones suitable for creative purposes as well as uh, mixing. Uh, and in this one, I wanted to take a look at two of my absolute favorite as far as kind of more gentle mix shaping. And these are by Flux. And they are Stereo Tool and Bittersweet. Stereo Tool is a really powerful uh, stereo field manipulator with a lot of wonderful ways to save presets and both see what's happening with the, the phase and stereo field of your mix and also to make some basic manipulations and some A, B comparison in, in doing so. So currently we got a bypass. When I activate it, we can see that we have a, uh, a phase meter, a phase vector scope, also called a goniometer. It lets us see what's happening as far as the location. We're seeing some little delay things pinging back and forth still. The straight lines are really mono, um, cloudier, more nebulous um, energy depictions are going to show width and density of the stereo field. And so in this tool, I can invert phase per channel. I can adjust gain per channel, left and right, as well as manipulating overall width. And looking at panning, And as we hear those volume changes in the signal, that's showing us that you know we're having different amounts of, of phase uh, cancellation and phase coherence affecting the output gain of the signal. So it's really nice. We have some, some very nice meters here showing left, right, in and out, and phase um, right down here, as well as the, uh, the phase scope itself. And one of my favorite reasons to use this is that it's real simple to see how our mix is looking from left and right and mono perspectives. We can always option click any control to send it back to default. If I want to widen that up, I can just the ability to see the gain as I do that is a really useful option there. One of the other things I really like about this is we have a robust uh, preset manager, so we can double click to call up particular presets, global presets, or specific ones, and recall them, update them, adjust them, etc. Set as default. Keywords on in a search, if we're working with a lot of specific things, maybe in post or sound design, we might want to have some specific stereo output, stereo field settings to work to. And so I can just recall that preset in there. And now I'm fully on this preset. And I've got my second one over here, and I can try it. Or I can blend the two together. So a very powerful tool for watching your stereo field and your stereo coherence, as well as making some, some nice changes with a very robust preset manager to help you uh, do so consistently across an album or a collection or a catalog. So the other tool that Flux really really blows my mind with is another very simple tool, their Bittersweet. Bittersweet is just a simple transient designer, nothing, nothing fancy, but it does its job exceptionally well. It just lets us dial from sweet, meaning soft, rounded, more gentle transients to bitter, harsh, and aggressive transients. And we can choose from fast, medium, or slow attack. Again, option click to set it back to the default. This is what we're starting with. You can hear it getting really kind of pillowy and rounded as I went to sweet. And as I move towards bitter, we can really hear the crack 
of those drum impacts. We can have this operating in center mode. Just looking at the center of the stereo field, or we can go full stereo, which is particularly useful if you're looking at things that are maybe not core elements of the mix, but you wanna bring out some energy or round off some, some rough edges on some things that are happening on a panning one side or the other, or maybe even a full stereo kind of background sound. I also have this link mode turned on. When it's engaged, if you'll notice down here, my output gain coincides with the amount of transient processing that happens. So again, we have this auto gain feature effectively. The output is not really affected by the amount of processing and the intensity of that processing we're applying to a particular part. We can really manipulate that to adjust that output gain as needed. Overall, it's a, it's a really useful and flexible tool. We have a bypass, and we also have our basic setup to re the refresh rate of the UI and the configuration, how many inputs, um, latency, etc. And the manual is right here as well. Okay, that's uh, Flux Bittersweet and the Flux Stereo Tool. Some great um, mixing tools to manipulate the transients in your mix and affect the stereo field. I'm Stephen Ellisted for ADSR. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. Follow on social media. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.